Hi, my name is Doug Foltz. I'm a network engineer with a software company in Central Indiana. Uh, I'm going to do a quick demo of configuring a Cisco Catalyst 4500X pair in a VSS setup. Um, recorded this video a couple years ago. Had some recent comments, which I thought was odd after all this time that someone's commenting on it. Um, but this is for Laughing Dog, who wasn't very happy that there was no audio. So uh, here we go. Um, first thing you should check is make sure your versions of code match. Which, as you can see here, we're running 3064E, 3064E, yay, all looks good. Um, when setting up a VSS pair, uh, it's similar in nature to how you set up a VPC domain. Uh, you're going to create a virtual domain for the VSS. You want that number to be unique and not overlap any others that you might have on your network, <clears throat> at least in, in a campus type environment. So if you have a VSS pair that's connecting to another VSS pair, you need to make sure those domains are a unique number. So, without further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and just show you that these are blank configs. Nothing's done except for I upgraded the code and I no shut uh, the two interfaces that I'm using, which is uh, 1011 and uh, 1012. So, show interface status. You can see they are connected using a couple of twin X cables. Um, so without rambling on too much further, let's go ahead and just get started. So config T, switch, virtual domain 4. Uh, this is going to be switch 1. Switch one priority. Uh, I like to set the priorities on these because I like to know who the master should be. And um, there's that. Go over here. Config T. Switch virtual domain four. This will be switch to. I'm not going to set a priority here. The default's 100. The one with the highest wins the election. So uh, exit. So next, I will configure the port channel. I'm going to do port channel 1 on this side. I'll do port channel 2 on the other side. By default, this is a routed interface, so I'm going to convert it to a switch port. And then I will add the virtual link to it. And then no shut. Over here. Config T, interface PO2. Oops. Um, again, make it a switch port. And then switch port, or switch virtual link 2. No shut. And now I'm going to go into my physical interfaces. Add them to the port channel. So you're seeing it saying it's suspended. Um, it's because I haven't configured it on the other side. And I'm using trunk mode on, so um, that's just a recommendation. I know there's probably some some reasons behind that, but. So let's take a look and just see what the port channel looks like. Show ether channel summary. And we're seeing it's not, it's in a waiting status, so. Yeah. 
And that side, same thing. So <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and convert them now. So basically, it's just switch convert mode virtual. Yes, we will proceed. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. And yes, we will proceed. And now it's going to reboot. This is going to take a minute, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and uh, I'll get it fired back up once this thing comes back up. All right, we're just about back up. <clears throat> I just wanted to show this real quick. Chassis ID, and he's showing us chassis 2, which is what we want. So we're just waiting for it to finish. All right, sorry about that. I had to take a call real quick. Um, but you can see everything's booted up. We got some low power state on some interfaces. And as you can see on the secondary unit, it says switch standby, console is disabled. So not much you can do on the secondary unit now. So let's just walk through and do some uh, verification. Um, do show switch virtual. And you see a domain number is, he's active, let's stand by unit, all looks good. Show switch virtual link. <clears throat> and there you go, you can see the VSL is up. And show ether channel, Ugh, why do I always do that, channel summary. And you can see the two port channels are now connected. And then let's do a show switch virtual roll. And he's active with a priority, just like we had set. Everything looks good. And then let's do a show redundancy. And you see where active with a hot standby which is what we want to see so there you go that's how you set up a, uh, a VSS pair on a Cisco Catalyst 4500X thanks have a great day bye